Welcome to this course, Introduction to Cybersecurity Literacy. This is Lesson 11, Creating Strong Passwords. In this video, I will show you a few strategies for turning a weak password into a strong one. Let's say that you have just set up a new online account and you need to choose a password. Naturally, you want something that will be easy to remember, so you type the first thing that comes to mind, the name of your beloved Persian cat, Muffin. As it stands, this is a weak password. It's especially weak if you have pictures of Muffin plastered all over your social media page or anywhere else on the web, because attackers do their homework. They might research you before trying to guess your password. One way to strengthen this password would be to add a variety of different symbols. So far, it's written entirely in lowercase letters. It would help to add some capital letters, numbers, and other keyboard symbols. Okay, now we have a strong password, but it's so random that it's difficult to remember. How can we make this password both strong and memorable? One way to make a strong password memorable is to make it tell a story. Let's imagine that you adopted Muffin from the shelter on Christmas Day in 2012. Well, we could start that story with Muffin's name. And the animal shelter is sometimes called the pound, so you could put a pound sign in there. And then you could shorten Christmas to just moss. And then you could finish it off with the year, 2012. There you have it. That's a password that tells a story. You got Muffin from the pound on Christmas in 2012. It's a story that you can remember, but one that other people are unlikely to guess. Notice that the password that we produced is long and contains a variety of symbols. Those are good things. Actually, this password is more than long enough. You could abbreviate some of the elements of this story if you wanted to. That might make it quicker to type. Another strategy for strengthening passwords is to replace letters with similar looking symbols. For example, muffin might become muff exclamation point n. Strong passwords should be at least 8 characters long, so let's throw in a meaningful number. We'll use 12 because you adopted Muffin in 2012. There, we have once again created a reasonably strong password. You could also try using a sentence instead of a word as your password. For example, start with the sentence, Muffin likes yarn and treats. That would be a long password, and you might not want to type that much every time you sign into your new account. To shorten it, just take the first letter of each word and use that string of letters as your base password. From that base, you could substitute a symbol or two and maybe add a meaningful number. And presto, you have created a strong password. Another principle to consider is substituting sound-alikes for conventional spellings. So maybe I love muffin could become something like this. Or you could try using symbols to separate words. For example, maybe muffin is great could become something like this. One way to make your password especially memorable is to base it on memorable song lyrics or movie lines. For example, muffins buying a stairway to heaven might be shortened to this. And then you could substitute characters and add meaningful numbers like this. As you can see, there are a lot of different ways to compose memorable passwords that are at least eight characters long and that use a lot of different symbols. Now that you know what to do, I'm going to share a few tactics to avoid. Avoid trivial passwords. Some of the most common passwords are password, one, two, three, four, five, the home row keys, A, S, D, F, J, K, L, semicolon, and let me in. These are all weak passwords. If somebody ever tries to break into one of your accounts, these will be among the first passwords that they try. Avoid relying on keyboard patterns for your password. For example, we have already seen that the keyboard pattern based passwords 12345 and ASDFJKL are both weak. The password left bracket SDDEPTF is also weak for similar reasons. Can you see what's wrong with it? Well, let's take a look. You see the word password 
is an exceptionally common and exceptionally weak password. And it's typed like this. P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. Now, some people think it's clever to shift their hands one key to the right and then to move their fingers as if they're typing the word password. Left bracket, S-D-D-E-P-T-F. Cybercriminals are aware of this keyboard-based password trick and others like it. You're better off avoiding keyboard pattern-based passwords altogether. Finally, avoid the passwords that we discussed in this video and avoid passwords that you see in any other how to choose a password tutorial that you've ever seen before. Cybercriminals seek out these tutorials and they add the passwords that they find to their lists of common passwords. So although this tutorial demonstrates good password creation principles, the passwords themselves are weak by virtue of their being shared with the public. Okay, that's all of the password creation tips I have for you for today. I hope this gives you an idea of what works and what doesn't work. In the next lesson, I'm going to give you some advice for managing your passwords. Some people, in fact, maybe most people, have trouble keeping track of all their passwords because they just have so many of them. The next lesson is going to give you tips for dealing with that kind of problem.